we do from grade R right the way through to grade sevens. Um, so, uh, and occasionally the double R's as well, they come through, they come through once every two weeks on that just to experiment and do some stuff here in the robotics lab, yeah. So, and then it's unique sets for all the different grades. Um, so, uh, with our grade R's and grade ones, they've got pre-built little robots and we're teaching them sequencing. So forward, back, left, right, those type of things. Um, Grade twos upwards, we start using our Spike Essential kits where um, they do a lot of um, icon based coding. So it's a little picture box that you put together, and then from there you're able to get your robot or your model to do whatever you want it to do. And then from our grade fives up to our grade sevens, and then we're using the, the Spike Prime sets where uh, we use a little bit more of word block uh, or scratch coding. So it's where you put little word blocks together. And with our grade sevens in the last term, we try to expose them to a little bit of Python. So it's a text based coding. Um, so then it's right away from sequencing to icon to word block to Python. So they've got a full range of skills and they've got a good foundation. So when they go to high school, they can pick up uh, computer studies and things like that and go straight into their coding from there. This classroom used to be our library uh, many, many years ago, and then we ended up converting it into our robotics lab. Um, we used to do robotics as an after-school extramural. Um, we started off with uh, two robots, uh, the LEGO Education EV3 model. Um, and then, yeah, it went from there to when it had to become part of the curriculum, uh, we started investigating different options, and LEGO Education, we just thought, was probably the best one out there. At the moment we've got over 35 different robotics kits that the kids use including the, the essentials and the primes um, so yeah and it's, we've just seen it's gone from strength to strength the kids are absolutely loving it. it's one of their favorite subjects they can uh, collaborate with their classmates and their friends and that uh, there's problem solving and uh, working out and trying to do these challenges and things like that so yeah it's uh, been a really exciting journey so far. Uh, we've managed to do quite a bit of fundraising, uh, so um, the PA helped set us up with a rental uh, system, so we got a couple more EV3 kits and a WeDo kit, so they the previous generation of what we're currently using, and uh, the kids can hire that out over weekend, and they can go and do um, some coding and robotics with their family at home and have some of that fun at home, but also carry on that learning at home, because it's, it's, it's a similar type um, code that they use in class but it's a different kit so it's a unique experience so it's not stuff they're going to be doing in class it's uh, additional type stuff um, so we've done that and that's actually worked out uh, really well but by the end of next year or maybe 2025 i want to have the best um primary school robotics lab in the country like if not why not let's go let's go for it um, there's still stuff that we're still incorporating and, and raising funds on that for and i think they're going to really uh go from one step to the next step and yeah we, we're excited about that and um, already just the progress we've done in the last eight nine months has been phenomenal and where we're going is yeah it's exciting. <laughs>